Welcome to Professional Nursing and Life Skills in URS 2232. My name is Dr. Dina Furr and I'm going to be your professor for this semester. I'm doing a little five minute video to get you up and running as quickly as possible so that you don't have to waste any more time than necessary uh, in this busy semester. Let's begin with the announcement page. I have put my contact information here and uh, so you can get a hold of me if you need to. I think you'll find that the class is set up like most classes at UTA in Blackboard with the syllabus and course schedule first, a few other little student friendly items, and then the weekly menu. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the syllabus. You'll notice on the very last page, I'm starting at the very end, there is a an attestation that you'll need to fill out and upload in the week one materials. Now let's zoom back up to the very top of the syllabus. My office number is 220. Uh, here's my uh, email address. You can contact me that way to make an appointment if you like. You do need to make a C in this class. And um, this mentions the attestation that I just showed you. There are three required textbooks in this class. The most, the one we'll use most is the Comprehensive Review by Saunders. This book you actually do need to purchase new because we use the online resources in class. There's thousands of questions that they have. You'll be answering some of those for course credit. The next book we use is also by Saunders, Strategies for Test Success. And then the third one you can purchase used called Vital Skills. Uh, some students have a little bit of trouble uh, finding this. You can get it from the company website and uh, it's also available off Amazon usually. We want to cover time management, test preparation skills. Uh, we want you to feel very comfortable taking taking tests in nursing and we think that by the time you finish this class you will be. We also hope to help you manage time, schedule, uh, stress and that sort of thing. You'll see that in this class there are two exams. Both of them are open book. They are however timed so you'll need to have your materials with you and uh, you'll have two hours to answer the 20 questions. There are weekly quizzes over the material from that week, also open book. There are a number of other assignments each week. Uh, one of the biggest assignments is, is the uh, NCLEX practice questions. We do those several times uh, during the semester. The grades are calculated as most are. You can turn your work in up to 48 hours late. After that we won't accept it and you do uh, have a penalty if you do need to turn it in late. Of course if there are extenuating medical circumstances or other circumstances that are serious please talk to us about it because we may be able to work with you on that. Uh, make sure you do your uh, work yourself. Um, we do put our assignments through SafeAssign and there have been a few students who, who chose to submit other students work and they did get a zero on the assignment and then of course um, the Office of Student Conduct put them on probation so don't go that route. I think you'll find it's really um, pretty easy uh, if, you, if you go ahead and get started early. Here's a look at the test uh, in the um, class uh, schedule and so you can see that it's laid out pretty uh, pretty logically I think. Uh, the week begins with Sunday, ends with Saturday night. You can see everything that needs to be done here uh, each week. I have made a special note of the five-day test plan. So you're gonna be taking another class along with this and when that class has its first exam, not math exam but, but course exam, med surge, uh, foundations, uh, whichever class it's in, a week before that you need to post your study plan, your five-day test plan. And so um, there's no specific due date for it. it. It is determined by the other class that you're taking. Then you can see weekly quizzes, two tests. It's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead uh, then and come back here. Here is the week one portal. This is where you will be uploading the syllabus attestation.